Hello everyone, how are you? I hope you all are fine. So in this video, uh, I solve some questions from R. S. Arwal book of class nine of chapter one. Okay, so let's uh, us discuss uh, one by one all the questions. First of all, uh, here is the question that uh, find rational number between three by eight and two by five. Okay, so let's solve this question. First of all. We have to take the LCM uh, of uh, de denominator, uh, or you can also make the same denominator both sides. Okay, so LCM is equal to forty. So make the denominator same eight into five. And uh, about two by five into eight into eight sixteen by forty. So between this number, so there is no difference. Uh, not come that uh, three by eight uh, and uh, sorry. We can also cut. This by five three is a fifteen and eight three by eight. So here we can see that there is no uh, any number between fifteen and sixteen. So we have to multiply again. So fifteen by forty into two and fifteen into two is equal to thirty by eighty. And our next number is sixteen by forty. So uh, multiply by two, to, so we get thirty-two uh, by eighty. So here uh, one number is coming that thirty-one uh, by eighty. So this is our answer. Okay, because in the question uh, there is written that find rational number. So our question is that find uh, rational number between three by eight and two by five. So thirty-one. By eighty is our required number. Okay. So our next question is one by three and one by two. No go. To make this question, we have to multiply the denominator. At uh, uh, those number which uh, which uh, if we multiply by two, the, then here also we multiply by two, but the denominator will be same. Okay, we can multiply uh, with any number so that the but there is a restriction that the denominator will be only same. Okay, so our second question is one by three and one by two. So take the LCM of it and LCM is equal to Six. Okay. So here we can write one by three into uh, two and one into two is equal to two by six. And here one by two into three into three is equal to three by six. Okay. And here is also no number come between this number. So we have to multiply again. Two by six into two into two four by twelve. Okay, and here three into two by six into two six by twelve. Here one number comes that is our required number that is five is to uh, sorry five by twelve. So our required number is five by twelve. This is our answer. So by this process, we we make this question that is uh, how to find the rational number between these. Okay. So let's move to our next question. 
Here is also the same question, but here is a uh, given that uh, find three decimal number between these. Okay. So in this question, we have to find three decimal number between three by five and seven by eight. Okay. So let's solve this question. First of all, we have to find LCM like uh, five into eight is equal to forty, and if we multiply by eight, so the denominator will be forty. And in the second number, seven by eight, if we multiply by five, the number. The denominator will be forty. Okay, so seven times the thirty-five and eight times the forty. And here is the number comes between required numbers are are twenty-five uh, by forty. Between these, we have uh, all the numbers are required numbers. Okay. So twenty five by forty, twenty six by forty, twenty seven by forty, and how many we want? Only three. So these are our required numbers. Okay. Here we can take uh, more than uh, three, but uh, in the question the, uh, there is a uh, written that only three decimal number we have to find. Okay. So this is our required number, and uh, in this question also answer may vary because. Uh, Between two rationals, there are infinite number lies. So, okay. And our next question is find five rational number between this. Okay, this uh, is also is just same as. Uh, That we have already discussed. So first of all, we have to find LCM. So here the LCM is fifty. So and now second process is uh, we have to uh, same the denominator. Five into three and three is equal to nine by fifty. And our second number is two by three. So we have to multiply uh, into five by five. Five two is a ten, and five three is a fifteen. So here we can also see that uh, there is no uh, numbers between nine by fifteen and ten by fifteen. So we have to multiply again. Nine by fifteen into uh, six. And here our second number is ten uh, by fifty, and into six, sixty uh, by one hundred five. There are many numbers lies between these two numbers, so we get, we want only five decimal numbers. So our five required numbers are. We can also multiply by five, four, but if the number are not coming. Uh, between these, uh, that is, question has said that uh, five rational number we want, so we have to multiply more than five and six. Okay. Required numbers are how many we want? Ah, uh, five. So thirty-seven by one hundred five, thirty-eight by one hundred five, thirty-nine by one hundred five, forty. Forty-one. We want only five. Okay. So this is our answer. Okay. So let's move to uh, next question. I hope you understand. Question. We can also uh, cancel this uh, answers. Okay. And uh, I hope you understand all this question that uh, I have we have discussed in the last three two questions. Okay. And now our new question here that is expressed in the form of p by q. So here uh, this is written in the form of decimal, and we have to uh, convert this in the form of p by q. Okay, p by q. Okay. So let's 
do this question. Our first question is 0 0.2. So, for solving this question, first of all, we have to uh, let x is equal to 0 0.2. Here is a, uh, uh, so uh, here this line, this bar is showing that 2 is term, uh, terminated. So, we can write here. Sorry, uh, this bar shows that uh, 2 is rating number. So, after decimal, 2 is repeating. So, we can write this. And after that, we have to uh, uh, think that uh, what do we have to multiply in this to decimal were removed. Okay. So, So here, uh, this uh, question shows that 0 0.2 left this first, okay. So from first into 10. If we multiply 10, the decimal is removed, okay. So we have to multiply from 10. So here, Nico. And now subtracting uh, patient second from first. Sorry, because second number is uh, greater, so we have to multiply equation first from. Second, 10x is equal to 10x minus x is equal to 2.222 minus 0.222. Okay, so here 9x is equal to 2. x is equal to 2 by 9. So this is our answer because the question is saying that we have to convert this uh, 0.2 in the form of PYQ. So here we can see that the question is in the form of PYQ that is 2 by 9. Okay. So our second question is 0.53. So here we also, first of all let x is equal to 0 0.535353. This is what is our first equation and if we multiply by 100 the decimal is removed. So multiplying both side by 100 so 100 
hundred x and is equal to fifty three point five three five three and five three. And again we have to subtract. This is our second. And now. first from second okay if we subtract 100x minus x 100x minus x and here is 53.5353 and 53 minus 0.535353 okay so here we can write ninety nine x, and here is fifty three point five three five three. So x is equal to fifty three by ninety nine. This is our answer. Okay, fifty zero point fifty three is in the form of p by q, and in the question also saying that convert the flowing into the form of p by q. Okay. So this is our answer. I hope you understand this question. So let's move to our next question. And here, simplify the flowing. We have to simplify all this flowing. Okay. So let us discuss one by one. Our first question is three uh, power one by four into five to the power one by four. So here we can see that the power is same. So we can write here five. Uh, Three into five whole power to the whole power one by four, and uh, further we can write fifteen by one by four. This is our answer. Okay. And uh, our second question is ah uh, two to the power two by three into two to the power one by three. Here we can see that the base is same. So the base is same. So we uh, learn the formula that if the base is same, the power will be added. Okay. So two to the power two by three plus one by three. Here we can write two to the power two uh, plus one three and three LCM is equal to two to the power one. Okay. This is our answer. We can also write here two, and uh, our third and last question that is uh, eighty one by forty nine to the power minus three by two. First of all, we have to remove this minus, and uh, if we remove this minus, we uh, we can the number will be reciprocal. That is forty nine by eighty one. And here is three by two. Uh, and now we have to put the power here, like uh, four by nine by eighty one by three to the whole power. And if if we ah uh, the power three will be uh, will be right here. The the process will be so long. And if we ah uh, if we ah uh, Enter this one by two here, so the process will be sort. So we have to use the sort process. So here we can write two by two to the whole power three. Okay. So here forty nine is the root of seven, and eighty one is the root of nine to the whole power three. And we have to multiply this into three times. Yes. Yeah. Seven into seven into seven and so here forty nine is the root of seven, and eighty one is the root of. Here uh, seven is the root of forty nine and eighty one is the root of nine. Here come the. Sorry, here is the. Seven is the root of forty-nine, and nine is the root of eighty-one. To 
the whole power 3 and we have to multiply 7 into 3 times and 9 into 3 times. If we, multi if we multiply, we can get our answer. So, so I hope you understand this question and uh, uh, that's all for today and in the next video we will discuss further.